Uh, the greater plans must be assessed in addition to the single phases in their execution. Uh, the, if you decide to, um, well, actually, if you speaking of um, road construction in Victoria, uh, when, when you think about the 1969 freeway plan, which was produced by uh, Chicago consultants who came across to Melbourne in the late 60s and studied Australia, uh, Victoria, Melbourne's transport needs. Um, and they came up with a freeway plan for the whole of the metropolitan area. Uh, if, you, if you look at that plan, you'll be surprised by how much of it has actually been built. And it hasn't actually been built, you know, like in one shot. But nobody actually did environmental impact assessment of that great plan. They've, there has been environmental impact assessment of some segments of it, but then, of course, not of all segments of it. You know, the Western Ring Road was done and Craigieburn Bypass and so forth. And, and some of those were not full environmental impact assessments. Some of them were just environmental studies under was it section 153 of planning environment, around about that part of the uh, Anyway, uh, the, the whole plan has never been assessed. Um, in the United States, that would spell um, invalidity for the decision to go ahead and build that particular transport system. If you went to court and said, look, they're building this plan, um, uh, it's never been assessed, the court would say, oh well, that's not an environmental impact assessment, you know, that's the